Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I'm gonna answer a question and that is, what if I have a norepinephrine deficiency? But before I do that, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification. Facebook fans, thank you very much. I always appreciate growing the audience. Please hit the like button. And if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. If you wanna schedule me for a 15 minute consultation, question, answer, for you or someone you know, please follow the link below. Contact my office, talk to Diane. We could either schedule a phone consultation or we could do a Zoom call, whatever works. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I got an email question from one of my viewers and that is, what if I have a norepinephrine deficiency? Now, the question is, why are you burning out the adrenal glands? Now the adrenal glands, they're the size of your thumb, they sit on top of the kidneys, and one of the functions of the adrenal glands is to adapt to behavior, adapt to the stimulus. Are you chronically stressed out? Do you have a bad diet? Are you having addiction behaviors that are just really burning you out? Because that could be the main cause of the norepinephrine deficiency. Now let's back it up a little bit. How is, a, how is this all created? Well, it's first created with an amino acid from a good protein source, phenylalanine. That gets converted to tyrosine, which gets converted to L-dopa. Now, with the help of vitamin B6, L-dopa gets converted to dopamine. Dopamine is our motivation, is our, is our will, it's our drive. And dopamine gets converted to norepinephrine with the help of copper and, B, uh, copper and vitamin C. And then norepinephrine gets converted to epinephrine with the help of the methyl donor, from the thionine, SAM. So these last two, this is your get up and go. This is the adrenaline response. But what makes it, what makes it? Dopamine. Dopamine is your what? Your motivator. So if you're chronically stressed out, if you're chronically doing addictive behaviors, sure, you're gonna burn out the adrenaline. So what are some symptoms? How do you know if you're just burnt out? Well, question is, you have low energy. Are you depressed? Are you moody? Because dopamine helps with mood. Norepinephrine helps stabilize the mood. Poor concentration and attention. Norepinephrine helps with our concentration, with our mood. In addition, increased appetite. Do you have weight gain? Pain? Do you have just chronic pain all over? If you have chronic pain all over, yeah, you may be kind of burnt out. In addition, you have difficulty regulating body temperature and your blood pressure because norepinephrine and epinephrine, they help with blood circulation. They help with heart rate. In addition to, do you have increased insulin levels or are you borderline insulin resistance because those will help stabilize the insulin response. So the possible causes, why, why do you have low epinephrine levels and norepinephrine levels? First and foremost, I always ask, how stressed out you are because the adrenal glands, those are your stress glands and they help, uh, help you adapt to stresses. Why? Because again, you have, because it produces the norepinephrine and the epinephrine, which helps stabilize your heart rate, helps stabilize the body, helps metabolize the blood sugars for possible exertion. And the more stressed out you are, the more you're burning off the raw materials. Diet, do you have a poor diet? is a standard American diet. Because remember, you need the protein broken down to the simplest form of amino acid, phenylalanine. So if you have a poor diet, not enough lean quality protein, sure, downstream, you're, you're not supplying yourself with the raw materials to make more norepinephrine. Medications. Certain medications just kill that, just kill that cascade. In addition to addictions, video gaming, for example, dopamine is the addiction drug. The more you do it, the more you want it. The problem is, the more you do it, the more you want it, the more it has to be made, and it's going to burn itself out. Sugar. Sugar burns off dopamine. What is the raw material that makes norepinephrine? Dopamine. In addition, gut dysbiosis. Do you have a poor gut function? Now, we have an enzyme that converts dopamine to norepinephrine, and that's dopamine and beta-hydroxylase. Now, that if you do test positive for that, you need to have a genetic test, and that will test you for that gene variant. So, if you have that congenital dysfunction, yes, 
you're not making sufficient amount of norepinephrine and epinephrine. And that is something that you can talk to your primary doc and get a genetic test for. What you want to do is remember, norepinephrine is important because it increases to strong stimulation, positive or negative. And you want to do your favorite thing. Do your favorite thing, not video gaming. Go outside, change it around a little bit. If you feel burnt out doing one thing, change, go do something else. Go for a walk in the park. Do something that you've never done before. And that's what I'm talking about, strong stimulation. Something new, something variable. And this is your diet. Always want to clean your diet. Because remember, sugar burns off dopamine. What do you need? You need phenylalanine. Where does that come from? Protein. So you want to fix your diet. Lean quality meats, wild caught fish, nuts, because you want the foods high in phenylalanine and tyrosine because those two main amino acids are the ones that make L-dopa to dopamine and norepinephrine and epinephrine. So you want to first clean up your diet. You want to fix your gut. If you have gut dysbiosis and your, your, mixing, your cement mixer is not breaking down the nutrients effectively for absorption, you got to fix your gut. Exercise. Exercise is key. I mean, not overexerting, but you want to do exercise because the exercise will releases endorphins. It will help decrease the overstimulation of the dopamine to norepinephrine. So you want to exercise and make you feel and make yourself feel better. Supplements. Vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is needed for the cascade. Copper. Vitamin C. Probiotics is going to help fix your gut. In addition to magnesium and vitamin D, these are all essentials to help with supply your body with the raw materials to make up for the lag if you're norepinephrine and epinephrine deficient. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for topics, I'm open. Please email. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.